Duffy. Hey, Walt! Sophie. <laughs> Go to little girl's room for a minute. Jake. Hey. <laughs> but Mr. Giddies. Yes, Miss Sophie. Yes, Mr. Giddies. Jake. Duffy, look. listen to me, man. I want to tell you a story. So there's this guy, Walsh, you understand? He's tired of screwing his wife. See? Jake. So a wait problem. a second, Duffy. You're always in such a hurry. So his friend says to him, hey, why ain't you do it like the Chinese do? So he says, well, how do the Chinese do it? And the guy says, well, the Chinese, first they screw a little bit, then they stop. They go and uh, read a little Confucius, come back, screw a little bit more, then they stop again, go back, and they screw a little Jake. bit more. Walsh, just listen to me for a second. I mean, you love this. Now, <clears throat> then they go back and they screw a little bit more, and then they go out and they contemplate the moon or something like that. It makes it more exciting. So now... The guy goes home and he starts screwing his own wife, see? So he screws her for a little bit and then he stops and he goes out of the room and he reads Life magazine. <laughs> then he goes back in, he starts screwing again, he says, excuse me for a minute, honey, and he goes out and he smokes a cigarette. Now his wife is getting sore as hell. <laughs> he comes back in the room, he starts screwing again, he gets up to start to leave again to go look at the moon. She looks at him and says, hey, what's the matter with you? You're screwing just like a Chinaman. <laughs> Mr. Gittes. Yes. Do you know me? Well, uh, I think I would have remembered. I... Have we ever met? Well, no. Never? Never. That's what I thought. You see, I'm Mrs. Evelyn Mulray. You know Mr. Mulray's wife? Not, uh, that Mulray. Yes, Mr. Giddies, that Mulray. And since you agree with me that we've never met before, you must also agree with me that I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. I see you like publicity, Mr. Giddies. Well, you're going to get it. Now, wait a minute, Mrs. Mulray. I think there's been some misunderstanding here. There's no point in getting tough with me. I'm just I don't get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. 